welcome back to another season. 2016 is upon us. I'm finally out here on the banks. I've been out probably like four or five times now. And I've been putting out some bait in different lakes and stuff. See what's uh, going to happen. I like to hop around a little bit in the spring to see if uh, what place is going to you know, strike first, basically. This lake here is uh, a little bit deeper, so it takes a little bit for the water to really warm up. Had a really nice sunny day today, so I thought they'd come into the shallows, so I came over to this spot. And no action yet. Keyword yet, hopefully till this evening, maybe I'll get into some fish. And I'll tell you what, the first couple times out, I'm rusty. You know, casting and everything, kind of like learning all over again. Try to get all your gear organized, which I'll show you in a minute. And uh, just to get back into the nice little rhythm, you know, like we usually have a few months, or a few weeks into it, I should say. And uh, no beeps or anything yet. I uh, had some ducks go over before, and uh, no action as far as like fish raising up or anything like that. One thing too, it's kind of choppy, so maybe I'll stir up and mix the water. I'm sure the top layer is starting to warm up a little bit, so maybe I'll mix with the bottom and uh, hopefully get some fish feeding pretty quick. And like I said, uh, I've been putting some bait out, and uh, I think this is the first real uh, solid attempt here today. I just kind of came messing around a few times just to see what would happen and no takers yet. And uh, just kicking back and I'll tell you what, it's nice just to be out of the house for a little bit and uh, doing some fishing. Got my camera bag there, got some different lenses this year, so hopefully uh, get a little creative with that. Show you some of my uh, baits here. Just got the new CC Moore stuff in, which is really cool. Got the new uh, Pacific Tuna. And I, I started using it last fall and I had some really good results, but I wanted to see how it's gonna work out in the spring, especially in the colder water. Yeah, you know, colder water and uh, see how that works out. And uh, it's supposed to be a really soluble bait even in cold water. So I'm excited for that. It's kind of like how the Equinox is in a way. You know, definitely a cold water bait and all year round bait for that matter. So let's uh, go over to my bait and I'll show you what I got going on there. Okay, so as you can see behind me, hopefully, got the barrow back there. Uh, got all my gear through the woods, my carry all. And uh, as far as bait selection go, I'm doing on the Right Rod Equinox. That's been my go-to cold water bait. It works really good in the spring, early spring, definitely. All year, actually, but it seemed like I did really, really good in the cold water months. So I, all I did was prepare pellets and did some bags, made them up real quick. doesn't have to be anything too fancy. Tuck in the corners and uh, just get some pellets and even some of the boilies. And all I did here was I took uh, the Equinox dip put it over top of it, mixed it around, and then put some of the stick mix on top of it. But what's really cool is by the time this video comes out, they actually have the bag mixes out now, which is a combination of the you know, pellets, the stick mix, a lot of other ingredients, chopped boilies. So this kind of saves all the time that you, you know, use separate ingredients. You can still add a lot of the dips and liquids too, but it saves you some time. Uh, middle rod and my left rod, I'm fishing uh, New Pacific Tuna. Which I have right here. It's like a brownish red color. See there. Oops. So that's new this year from uh, CC Moore. Started using it last fall. Had some really good results. I think the biggest fish on it was 29 and a half. And I'll tell you what, like, even though I catch on pop ups here, it seemed like the Pacific Tuna airball pop ups really excelled. Like it really caught a lot of really solid fish on them. And that's what I have on my one rod today, my left one. The middle one, I just have two bottom baits, 18 mil. And uh, I just mixed up some uh, pellets here. And uh, crushed hemp seed, you see there. And I just have some uh, mesh, uh, mesh bags. Another thing about early spring, and even into the summer for that matter, while the water is still kind of chilly, is the water will go through these quicker than a bag. I do have a PVA bag on the right one, but I noticed it does take a little bit to break down and uh, just wanted to mix it up a little bit to see if I can trigger a bite quicker with uh, using mesh. And all the flavors and stuff are gonna transfer into water quicker. Now all I did was just take some of the pellets and uh, hemp, just mix it around and put in a tuna extract. That way it kinda leaves a little trail out there. Even though this, uh, just a little bit uh, of oil content. And usually I don't like using that in the early spring. This will definitely carry the scent trail. And when you look at this here too, put some in the cap here. 
You can see all the little chunks, all the little chunks and pieces of that tuna in there. So it's definitely a nice feature. Not only does it soak into the boilies or pellets, but you also have a nice little coating around it. So that definitely helps things out. And uh, as far as baits go, I'm just keeping it simple. Like I said, doing a hinge rig on my left one with a 18 mil Pacific Tuna. The middle one I have Pacific Tuna 218 mil bottom baits. And the right one I decided to do a snowman 24 mil Equinox 18 mil uh, Dairy Supreme. So we're going to see how that pans out here. Starting to get into the evening a little bit. And uh, the wind is starting to finally calm down. It's kind of getting pretty good there for a while. Still got like maybe three quarter foot, the foot high waves coming in, but uh, nothing severe. And gotta be honest, sure beats sitting in my room right now, so can't beat that. So I'll just walk you around my setup here real quick. Okay, as you can see, got the camera bag, chair of course, stay nice and comfy. Got all my baits around here. Usually I have them all set up here. Got my carry-all. I usually do all my stuff on my table here. That way I don't lose anything on the on the bottom here. Because it's so easy to lose stuff in the woods. And uh, just got some, a couple rigs made up and a few things in there. Got all my pouches and stuff in there. Car keys, of course, so I can get home. I uh, got my camera set up and my barrow. This has been such a lifesaver for me for, through the years. Um, this will probably be like a good two to three trip job down here. I can do it all in one trip now. Then going back up, it's all in one trip. And not only is that nice for somebody who fishes by themselves, but if there's people around, you don't have to worry about your gear getting stolen since you can do it all in one trip. Over here, got a spare net there just in case I get crazy runs. Got my sleeve system. And over there, got my scale. And of course, my mat and sling, water bowl. And uh, over here, I have my main net. So, uh, ready for action. And of course, over here, got the pod all set up. Hopefully, we got a screaming run very soon. Okay, so that kind of filled you in, you know, a few baits I'm using. I'm just keeping it really simple right now because a lot of times uh, when the fish start coming out, they're really uh, kind of dormant, I, I guess you can call it. And the bites are real light. Like if I get a couple beeps right now, chances are I'd be a fish on. And it doesn't seem like they run real hard as soon as ice comes out. So uh, we'll see what happens. Who knows, maybe I'll, they'll prove me wrong today. We'll see. I just, like I said, I got my new Delcoms here, so I'll be... Doing that, and I have some other stuff coming here, probably in about a week and a half or two weeks. So you'll see some of that in videos, doing reviews, or just kind of overviews of what I got, show you how it works, things like that. So, right now, I guess we got, I don't know, about an hour, maybe less, till the sun goes down. And it's uh, starting to cool off pretty good already. I wish I would have brought some Under Armour, or uh, maybe I did. I gotta check my barrow. That's one thing about the springtime, you just never know what you're gonna forget. The other day, I almost forgot my alarms, so, and not that I couldn't have done it just by watching my rods, but it definitely makes life a lot easier having alarms. And first few times out, you know, I always forget something. I don't know, but yeah, I just draw it down on a piece of paper, and then when I get home, I just add it to my arsenal. So uh, we're going to kick back here. Hopefully we'll get into some fish soon. Even if it's a small, tiny one, that's definitely welcome right now. So uh, hopefully we'll see you back here shortly with the fish. If not, maybe I'll just do a little outro later.
Well, it helps if I hit the record button. I was just doing my outro, and actually I forgot to hit record, so let's do this again. It's uh, pretty dark out. If I get rid of my headlamp here, you can see, can't see anything around me. Just uh, got the headlamp on. And it got really cold quick. As soon as that sun went down, got my gloves on, uh, my hat. And I really wish I would have brought my Under Armour. I could have swore I did, but guess what? I didn't. That's all part of the beginning of the season, trying to figure out what you forget at home that you wish you would have had. But uh keep hearing some weird noises in the woods. I don't know what that is. So hopefully uh, nothing crazy. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Uh, no signs of any fish. No rolls, no anything. Not a single little beep on my rods. It's hoping they're breaking the new Delcoms tonight in style, but nothing. So uh, maybe till I leave, we'll get something, but it's starting to get a little bit later. Been out here for a while and got work tomorrow. So uh, hopefully another day, but like I said, it's still early in the season. Last year, we went from ice to 90s, and uh, the spawn came real early, whereas this year it looks more normal. So I think we'll get some really good spring fishing in here. And I'll keep at it. Just want to do uh, session number one for 2016. The official uh, video one. And uh, just want to do, the, you know, like I said, get something on film here. Even though there's no fish, it's still good to see, you know, just how I'm setting up. Things like that. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe. Anything new that comes out, you'll get it right away in your inbox. And uh, we're going to have a lot of different things this year, so I'm looking forward to it. So I guess it's time to pack her in and uh, head home to another day. Thanks for watching. Thank you again for watching another one of my videos. You'll see two videos below showing you how to make corn on the left and oats pack bait on the right. If you enjoyed this video, there's plenty more on my channel. Please hit subscribe on the right side of the screen. And anytime a new video comes out, you'll be the first to see it.